and yet another mouse trap for me. You might have seen a previous video I made about a flap based mouse trap, but I was doing a silly concealing job on the other day and I ended up a couple of these empty tubes what made me thinking what if I could reuse them and make a easier mouse trap build from it. I had my usual uh, basic principles of 3D print less and use structural materials already available and design very simple 3D printed parts. It's very easy to print on any printer and anybody can do it. And keep the number of parts minimum that also simplifies the whole structure build and just uh, make the assembly easy and no special tools required. I have put uh, the link to the 3D printed parts in the video description, also with the list of parts you need. And I will come back with a short tips and tricks at the end of the video after the build process. So let's get on and build this thing. So what do you need for the mousetrap? You need a plastic bucket. It's a very cheap $2 one. The four 3D printed parts, uh, M3, bolts for 20 mil, 125 mil and 140 mil nuts, two screws, wooden screws, some washers, an empty sealing tube, piece of timber. Let's start the build with the ramp and it's easier obviously to do this before we put the ramp on. So the ramp will sit on the bucket and there will be this wooden piece just hanging on these holes. So obviously I want to give a nice 45 degree cut so it will be easier to climb for the mice. And then just put two screws through so I can hang it on. in position just hang it on and then it will sit like this so the mouse can come up and bow continue with the drum after cutting it off I need to clean a bit and maybe sand the edge that I cut in this side and the nut goes on the other side and the nut should sink in I you tighten the bolt and this is hexagonal shape so you can lock it in quite nice and tight done let's do the other one to 
fit this in mounting the sides on the bucket so try to find a half mark where the whole thing will sit and roll and I just give a mark here go to then I'm gonna put ramp mount side on the opposite side of the handle here cool. what I try to do is put the light in so I I can see where the holes are to use the four 20 mil if you only have 16 mil that will also work don't worry let's put this through this is sunken in so should be able to mount it on nicely of timber to length here are the tips and learnings uh, from the build don't worry if you have a tension and it was the drum is not lining up. Just unmount one of the end, position perfectly, mark it and redrill and mount there. Not a problem. And definitely put a washer on the short uh, axle end that will avoid any friction between the drum and the, and the mount. And you might also want to put some grease on the axle that can reduce friction further. And finally, you may want to put some tape on these gaps here to avoid anything getting in and get the axle stuck. So here you have it. And thanks for watching. See you in another video.